Hi guys, welcome back to engineeringtalks.com. In this video, I have come with a new topic, shear force and bending moment diagrams of a simply supported beam subjected to a couple. So, happy learning and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon. I have already told you that a simply supported beam usually has a hinge support at one end and a roller support at the other end. Here I have shown a simply supported beam which is hinged at both the ends A and B and it is subjected to a clockwise couple at a distance of 2 meters from the end A. Now we will see how we can find out the shear force and bending moments along the length of this beam. This clockwise couple at the point C will try to lift the beam at the end A and depress the beam at the end B. In order to oppose this, the reactions Ra will be in the downward direction and Rb will be in the upward direction like this. Let's now find out the reactions Ra and Rb. For that, we have to take the moments about the end A. So, summation Ma will be equal to 0. Let's assume a section at this end A. On the right portion of the section, we have a reaction force and a clockwise couple. This reaction force Rb is acting in the upward direction and has the tendency to rotate this beam in the anti-clockwise direction with respect to the section at A. And this couple is in the clockwise direction. Any moment in the anti-clockwise direction on the right portion of the section will be considered as positive. Therefore, the moment at A due to Rb will be positive and it will be equal to Rb into 6 because 6 meters is the perpendicular distance between Rb and the end A. And this couple is in the clockwise direction. Any moment in the clockwise direction on the right portion of the section will be considered as negative. Therefore, minus 24 is equal to 0. Now, Rb is equal to 24 by 6 which is equal to 4 kilo newton and it is acting in the upward direction. Here we do not have any externally applied loads, right? So Ra will be equal to minus Rb, which is equal to minus 4 kilo Newton, which means that Ra will be acting in the downward direction. In order to find out the shear force and bending moment variations along the length of the speed, we have to consider a section like this at a distance of x meters from the end A. The shear force and bending moment acting at this section can be found out by considering either the left portion of the section or the right portion of the section. Let's consider the left portion of the section. On the left portion of the section, we just have a reaction force Ra acting in the downward direction. Shear force at this section is equal to the algebraic sum of the forces acting either on the left portion of the section or the right portion of the section. Here we have considered the left portion of the section. So, the shear force will be equal to the algebraic sum of the forces on the left portion of the section. So, it will be equal to Ra. And Ra is acting in the downward direction. Any force acting in the downward direction on the left portion of the section will be considered as negative. Therefore, shear force at this section will be equal to minus Ra which is equal to minus 4 kN. And this remains constant between the points A and B because we do not have any other point loads between these two points. The bending moment variation along the length of this beam can be found out in a similar manner. We have to consider a section like this at a distance of x meters from the end A and let's consider the left portion of the section. So here we have a reaction force Ra having the tendency to rotate this beam in the anti-clockwise direction with respect to this section. So at this section the moment will be equal to minus Ra into x. Minus Ra into x because any moment in the anti-clockwise direction on the left portion of the section will be considered as negative. Therefore, mx will be equal to minus Ra into x. Now, at this end A, x will be equal to 0. So, ma will be equal to minus Ra into 0 which is equal to 0. And at C, x equal to 2 meters. So, mc will be equal to minus 4 into 2 which is equal to minus 8 kilo Newton meters. In order to find out the bending moment variation between the points C and P, we have to consider a section between these two points. Let this section be at a distance of x meters from the end A. The bending moment at this section can be found out by considering the left portion of the section or the right portion of the section. Let's consider the left portion of the section. On the left portion of the section, we have a reaction force Ra acting in the downward direction and having the tendency to rotate this beam in the anti-clockwise direction with respect to this section. 
Any moment in the anti-clockwise direction on the left portion of the section will be considered as negative. Therefore, the moment at this section due to R A will be minus R A into X. And this couple is in the clockwise direction. Any moment in the clockwise direction on the left portion of the section will be considered as positive. So, it will be plus 24. Therefore, moment at this section will be equal to minus R A into X plus 24. Now, at C, X will be equal to 2 meters. So, mc will be equal to minus 4 into 2 plus 24, which is equal to plus 16 kilo Newton meters. And at this end b, x will be equal to 2 plus 4, that is 6 meters. So, mb will be equal to minus 4 into 6 plus 24, which is equal to minus 24 plus 24, which is equal to 0. Therefore, bending moments at a and b, that is ma equal to mb equal to 0. And at the point C, the bending moment varies from minus 8 kilo Newton meters to plus 16 kilo Newton meters due to this clockwise couple. Let's draw the shear force diagram. For that, we have to draw the baseline first. Now, in this case, shear force is equal to minus 4 kilo Newton and it remains constant between the points A and B. Since it is negative, we have to mark it below the baseline. So, at this end A, we have shear force is equal to minus 4 kilo Newton and this value remains constant between the points A and B. So, let's mark it using a horizontal straight line like this. So, this is the shear force diagram. Now, we can shade this region and mark it as negative because we have drawn this below the baseline and the shear force is negative. Let's now draw the bending moment diagram. For that, we have to draw the baseline like this first. We know that the bending moments at the ends A and B, that is MA equal to MB equal to 0. Now, between A and C as well as between C and B, bending moment is proportional to the distance X of the section from the end A, which means that bending moment varies according to straight line law. It can be represented using straight lines. So, between the points A and C, bending moment can be represented like this. So, it varies from 0 at A to minus 8 kilo Newton meters at the point C. Now, at the point C, bending moment varies from minus 8 kilo Newton meters to plus 16 kilo Newton meters due to the presence of this clockwise couple. So, let us mark that variation using a straight line at C like this. Now, between C and B, bending moment again varies according to straight line law like this. So, bending moment changes from a value of 16 kilo Newton meters to a value of 0 between the points C and B. Now, we can shade these two regions and mark it as negative and positive. Here we have 8 kilo Newton meters and uh, here we have 16 kilo Newton meters. These are the shear force and bending moment diagrams of a simply supported beam which is hinged at both the ends and subjected to a clockwise couple. Please do like and share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.